adventurers. I have woken up bright and early. I mean, the sun isn't even out yet uh, to go look for some herbs today. I am meeting up with my friends Zeev and Chris. We're gonna go up into the mountains that are near Los Angeles uh, and take a look for uh, hopefully some Southern Pacific rattlesnakes and some uh, terrestrial, Western terrestrial garter snakes. So uh, stay tuned and uh, let's get flipping. Just went under. Oh no. <laughs> Two of them. They're under here. You can hear one's rattling. They're under this rock. One of these. Yeah, we just hiked up upon a southern Pacific rattlesnake. Uh, you can see it there in a the little rock crevice. Uh, hopefully it turns out in the video, but its eyes are really cloudy. They they actually look kind of like uh, a really pretty blue from here. Uh, but that's a good sign that it's going to shed soon. Uh, and then all those uh, colors and all those brown and lighter colors on it will stand out a lot more after that happens. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to get closer because uh, I think if we get uh, if we take another step, I think he'll bolt back into the rocks. Wow. He is, there's really nowhere he can go. What a beautiful snake. Uh, this is a southern Pacific rattlesnake. Um, and uh, it's just giving us a little bit of a warning with its tail, letting us know it's there. But it's, you know, as long as we give it um, some distance um, and we're calm around it, it's, we're really not in danger at all. So cool to watch that rattle. Now these snakes, uh, you can, this happens to be the only type of rattlesnake in this area, but uh, if you are in an area where there are other types, um, a good idea is to look at the bands on the rattle, uh, the bands right below the rattle in order to identify it. So this guy has brown bands that are really kind of the same color as the rest of its body. Um, and a lot of our other rattlesnake species that are um, nearby uh, have black and white bands. Well, it's really a delight to find uh, a snake like this, especially one that's so calm and let us take some great videos of it. We're gonna let it chill. We're gonna keep hiking and uh, hopefully we can find some more things to show you. So stay tuned. Right in the crevice, that black hole, just sticking out enough. Let's shine the flash side a little bit and you can see um, Hopefully you can see in there uh, that it's a big rattlesnake. Um, there we go. You can see he goes all the way back in there. Um, so this is definitely one of our larger, our larger uh, friends out here. Very, very cool to see. Nice. All right, officially your life for now. Yep. Wow. Here we go, our terrestrial garter snake. And he even smells bad too. Yep. So here's a great look at our Western terrestrial garter snake. Well, we actually spotted nine of these today, um, but haven't been able to catch them. They just seem to bolt as soon as uh, they see us. So finally we got to we caught one, uh, we get to show it here.
Um, garter snakes can be a little tricky to identify. Uh, one of the things you're looking for here is show that those uh, cream colored lines. They have one uh, down the center of the back uh, and then two on one on each side as well. Awesome. All right, man. That was great. It. Yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really had a blast uh, finding those rattlesnakes and finding those garter snakes. Uh, and I really hope that you enjoyed uh, the little bit I was able to share with you. Please remember to like and subscribe. Uh, I really appreciate it when you do. Um, I'm Greg Schechter. This is Schechter Natural History. And I'll see you in the field.